hey i hope you are having a great day let me know how you are in the comments today is day three of my little ucat top tip series where i'm covering each section one day at a time i've already done videos on verbal reasoning and decision making so go back and check those out if you're interested today we're going to be covering quantitative reasoning or qr i'll do a quick overview of what this section involves and then i'll give you my my top tip of what helped me achieve a high score in this section. So the quantitative reasoning section in the UCAT has 36 maths questions for you to do in 24 minutes. It seems really weird, like I think you get 40 seconds per question, but remember that some questions will take longer and some questions will take less time. So hopefully it should balance out for you. The main aim is to get as many questions right as possible to get a high score. You should be completely okay with the maths. It's all GCSE level, I believe. So yeah, I'll just give you my top tips on what helped me. My first tip would be when you're practicing QR questions, use the online calculator that you get on your practice question screen. I hope that makes sense. I'll put a screenshot of it in the video now so you know what I'm talking about. But in the UCAT, the calculator that you get is on screen on the computer. And if you're not used to using it, it's really weird. So get plenty of practice with that calculator before your UCAT. You wanna see if you prefer clicking the numbers or if you prefer using your keyboard to hit those numbers. And yeah, see if any of the keyboard shortcuts work for you, things like that. Because you don't want your speed or your skills with that calculator to bring you down in QR. The second thing I did for QR was I actually practiced a few GCSE maths past papers before practicing the UCAT QR. You don't need to do this, but I found that it really helped me get my head back into the zone of maths. I know that a lot of you will be doing A-level maths, so you're still on it with your maths anyway, but GCSE maths does have a few slightly different things and it can be helpful just to go over it. A topic I would say to focus on is percentages because apparently that is involved in the majority of the UCAT maths questions. So that's just something for you to think about. Definitely don't stress about this maths section. For me, it was probably the easiest of the five UCAT sections because we're all used to maths because we all had to do it at GCSE, even if we're not doing it for A-level. So yeah, hopefully you'll be all good on that. Just make sure you do plenty of practice. Best of luck and if this helped, please do come back again tomorrow where I'm going to be running through my top tip on abstract reasoning or AR. If you want to see more content like this, please do hit like and subscribe. I post medicine videos or positivity videos weekly and I'd love to see you here on my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.